Welcome back, Sports Buds. Week one's in the books, so we have some power rankings for you. Let's jump into it, boys. We have Tony Parlay Reyes with us and Nick Kerr. Nick Kerr, who do you have? Yes. Number five for us. I'm yeah. going with the Chiefs. Uh, they were, they're still favorites for the Super Bowl, but uh, they lost week one. So I'm going to keep them in my top five. All right. Tony, who do you have at number five? Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions breaking into that top five. Big win. I also have the Detroit Lions. Huge, uh, more like just huge victory for them. Huge morale boost for them going into the season. And then just based off of everything I saw in the NFC North, they'll, they'll easily be contenders to win that division. So Lions at five. Nick, who do you have at four? Four, I have the other Super Bowl team from last year. I got the Philadelphia Eagles. They withstood the the late run by the Patriots and still pulled out the win. All right. I'll stay with me. I also had the Philadelphia Eagles. They had some hiccups against the Patriots, but I still think that when it's all said and done, they're one of the best teams in the league. Tony, who do you have at number four? Chiefs. Put the Chiefs at four. The Lions did need a lot of luck to beat them. I still give Patrick Mahomes and that team credit. All right, all right. We'll stick with you, Tony. Who do you have at number three in your power rankings? San Francisco 49ers. Pretty damn impressive win going to Pittsburgh. Shutting down that Steelers team. They're pretty good. All right, all right. Nick, who do you have at number three? I got my Miami Dolphins. The, the combination of Tua and Tyreek. Would have them higher, but that defense didn't play so well. All right. Missing a few people on defense, but see how it, it goes for them. Um, I had the Dallas Cowboys at three for myself. I think that was just a dominating win over the Giants. They're clearly one of the top three defenses in the league. And so, yeah, I think that defense stays healthy. They can easily carry them to an NFC Championship game. Uh, all right, number two, I'm going to stick with myself. I had the Miami Dolphins. That was just a huge victory against the Chargers. I felt like that was a statement victory against the Chargers that a lot of people saw, and I think the Dolphins really just announced themselves to the world with the addition of Vic Fangio. That defense, it's just they look like an unstoppable force this year. Nick, who do you have at number two? I got the Dallas Cowboys. The way they put the beating on the New York Giants on Sunday nights, I'm now starting to think that there may still be some dents in that field, and that might be why Aaron Rodgers' foot got caught. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, Tony, who do you have it to? Miami Dolphins. AFC favorites. Two of best game as a pro. Handling the blitz. Looking great. All right. Nick, I'm going to pop back to you. Who do you have for number one in I your the, NFL power rankings? <laughs> I got the San Francisco 49ers because I believe that's one of the the team that actually put their their best offense and defense on show. All right. I also have the 49ers as my number one pick. I had them just kind of number one in preseason. I felt like they were one of the best teams in the league. And goddamn, that defense looked amazing. Christian McCaffrey looked amazing. Brock Purdy looks like he can get the job done for him. So, yikes. Um, that was scary to see. But them, just like any of the other teams we've mentioned, they got to stay healthy as well, especially at that QB spot, especially Christian McCaffrey. So... Keep some eyes on them. Tony, number one, we'll give you some time here. I regretted it last time. <laughs> I'm just here to teach. Take notes. Tune into an earlier episode. I told you guys, Sports Bud Super Bowl is happening. We watched. It's on track. What did you see in week one? Who are the two best teams? <laughs> I'm telling you guys, it's happening. All this Niners noise, I'm hearing all all. Everything I heard about from when the Cowboys lost to the playoffs to the Niners was, if Tony Pollard didn't break his leg, the Cowboys would have won that game. Pretty sure this guy Chris Billings said that. Pretty sure that guy Nick said that. Pretty sure I said that. Cowboys have better weapons now, and they have a better defense. 
I'll see the Niners in week five. See? It's a marathon, not a sprint, boys. All right. That concludes the power rankings. Thanks for joining us for a quick little episode. Check out our other episodes. We've got a QB power rankings. We got our week one recap, and then we have our week two pick ems. Check them out. Like, subscribe. Also, check us out on Spotify and Apple Podcast. Nick, I'll let you sign out for us. Tell the people goodbye for us. That means I actually had to pay attention to how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that was our uh, power rankings episode for myself, Nicholas Kerr. Got Chris Billings, Tony Parlay. See you next time. Thanks for watching the Sports Buds. Be sure to like, follow, and subscribe.